Let's find, let's find the facts. Not, they're not facts, they're tips. Let's find the tips. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna stop saying now. Hey, what's up you guys, it's Ange, and today I'm gonna be telling you 15 tips on how to survive your freshman year. Number one, don't be the kid who talks back to the teacher just to be funny. It can be funny, but most of the time it's not. Number two, don't be the kid who walks slow in the hallway. Like, I'm trying to get to class here. Can you move it along? Some of us gotta go. Number three, don't be the kid who picks fights with the upperclassmen. What's the point? You're basically a child. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Number four, do your homework and work hard. Doing your homework at least gets you a C average and that will pass you. And trust me, that has saved my life. Just doing my homework, even though I bomb all of the tests, it saves my life and I have at least a C average in every class. Work hard, try your best. You're gonna be here for four years. Why not at least try? Number five, please, 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 please don't be the kid who stops in the middle of the hallway to finish a text or start a text. Just don't do it. If you wanna text someone, do it before you leave your class or after you get to your next class. If you're skilled enough, which some people aren't, text and walk. Number six, don't stare at your schedule. I have seen it. These freshmen will stare at their schedule and these upperclassmen are obviously a freshman, fresh me. It's scary, okay? Number seven, do us all a favor. Leave the rolly backpacks behind. I cannot stress this enough countless amount of times that I have stepped on a backpack that's rolling its way down the hallway. Number eight. That's not eight. <laughs> Number eight. Go to orientation even if you don't think you need to. Trust me, it's one of the best things that I could have done to prepare myself for high school. Number nine. Nope, 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 nope. Forgot my fact. Tip thing. Yes. Okay. Number nine. You are the youngest. Don't try and act older than you are. You are the child. I have a couple of senior friends who have told me that they wish they were a freshman again. But to be able to have the high school experience all over again because they loved it so much. Number... Bleh. <laughs> I'm a fail. Number 10. I forgot it. Number 10. Try your hardest. It will all pay off in the end when you're a senior and you're going to this amazing college and you're going to have a job and you're going to be amazing and everything's going to be perfectly fine. Try your hardest starting freshman year, sophomore, junior, and senior because it will pay off in the end. Just be awesome. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's going to be awesome. Yay! Number 11. <laughs> I know I have 11 fingers. Number 11, that looks just stupid. Number 11, focus, focus, okay. Bring snacks, trust me, you're gonna want and need them throughout the day. Number 22. Everything is gonna be all right if you just keep dancing like you're 22. I can't sing for my life. Number 12, two, one. No, that's 21. One, two, 12. Bring headphones and chargers. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have been asked for a charger or asked someone else for a charger for my cell phone. Obviously a cell phone, Angelina, really. You're going to need it because you're gonna be on your phone most of the day. Number 13, one thing that I have learned most about high school is that you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for what you believe in, against people who are doing stuff to you, and for things you want. You'll get nowhere if you don't. I have done it this year and it makes me feel great. Number 14, enjoy the while it lasts. They wish that they could have it all back and it's tough for them to believe that they're going to college. Dude, that's crazy, come on. So, um, yeah, about that 15th tip. Uh, I don't have one. Number 15, just don't go. It's terrible and everything I just said was a lie. Okay, I'm kidding. Go to school, go to school as much as you can. Blah, 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 blah. Number 15, go to school because you will fall behind in your work and your studies and it will just be so hard to catch up. Absent for two days out of math and it was the hardest thing in the world to catch up to where they were practically five gazillion lessons ahead. Go to school, man. I'm gonna quit you eat. Basically the moral of that whole story time thing was go to school guys, come on. Education. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think, what is that head? Ha, 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 all right. It means the absolute world to me. Please give this a big thumbs up. Whoa, did you hear that? Ha, ha. Comment down below some video ideas that I can do. As I said in my last video, I post videos every Friday. Looking forward to doing so much more with you guys. Next week, you guys get to meet two very important people in my life. 
I have lives, multiple, Hannah Montana, best of both worlds. Okay. <laughs> all right, I will see you all next week. Have a very nice weekend, week, whatever day you are watching this. Good luck in school. Stay in school. Don't quit you wait. That was in a play thing I read. Yeah, look at Ange being all smart. Look at me being all smarticles. Another tip, don't do that. <laughs> all right, bye guys. <laughs>